Hello friends, uh, today I am back with you with one more company that is uh, KPIT Technologies. Friends, as you know that this is a mid-cap uh, technology company. The results of this company actually according to uh, the TV channels, they were par excellent. But uh, as such, you know, we always analyze ourselves that what is the condition of uh, KPIT technology or for that matter any stock ourselves. So the first actually that uh, parameter that we see is the sales. If you see the sales of KPIT technologies right from, you can see it is continuously rising for the last about four quarters, number one. And if you consider the March of 22, 23 and the fourth quarter, it was, there was an increase again here also, substantial increase for roughly about 25%. Even if you see the operating profit, there is consistent rise in the operating profit also. Operating profit means the operationally whether the company is profitable or not. You have to see the operational uh, part because after if the company is uh, operating uh, or is having the operational profits, that means the company is able to pay the taxes, company is able to pay the, uh, uh, the expenses company is uh, able to pay depreciation, amortization, amortization, interest and everything. Company is in that capacity. So the operating profit, you know, this is consistently growing. And the final is that we check is the net profit margin. Net, the third parameter, net, uh, actually in uh, quarter of 22, March 22, it was 23%, which has, uh, which has become in fourth quarter, that is quarter ending March, 17.33 percent so uh, channels were telling it is fantastic performance as compared to the large caps uh, IT industries like Infosys, HCL etc, uh, HCL Tech etc so uh, according to us actually the margin of profit there was not a substantial increase or though uh, from the quarter 3 and quarter 4 there was an increase in the profit marginal increase in the profit are about 7 to 8 percent. So according to us the results of tech, uh, KPIT technology they were actually very uh, I will not say weak but they were uh, fairly okay like as compared to the large caps. Now after having checked the Q4 results friends I must tell you here that the Q4 results of KPIT technologies were declared on 26th of April. Now the results are expected to be between 24th and uh, 26th of July. That means today we have absolutely one month with us. Now let us check our own parameters here. We always see that the stock should be in the uptrend. So you can see here the stock was in the uptrend for quite a long time. And this is actually the price that is, uh, say, roughly about 1010. This was the price uh, on 24th of April. And from there, it went to 1160. Uh, then it fell down and it closed on uh, 28th on 1095. The uptrend actually continues till the stocks break 1060. Now, my point is, that the national environment is good, the international environment is good. This is a mid-cap IT share which is showing a promising results. And instead of the, you see earlier, you know, this here I, I, I had taken the daily chart. You can see here, I had taken here the daily chart and closing price and the moving average of 2 which is our standard. Why we take moving average of 2 is because we buy at the lowest and we sell at the highest. Now this you see here on the wrist watch you can see this is somewhere around uh, 10 past 10 both these averages. So this is in the buying zone definitely. But to reconfirm it we always go and find out on the weekly chart. So this is a weekly chart of 6 months time friends you can see here the stock is in the uptrend. Buy signal actually had come, uh, this had given a buy signal, uh, I'll, ju I'll just put it down here, 
bicycle around 900 from 900 it went to 11,000 1100 and now it is 1095 in uh, say 10% it has given in four months time now the broker's target here friends is 1550 so since the momentum is up our strategy is that we buy the stock at 1095 or if you can get 10 rupees less it will be per perfectly all right now assumption here is that uh, I must tell you that the results are expected on 26th of July one month's time is left now the brokers, uh, brokers have given a target of 1550 now this is uh, a, uh, a short term profit or you can say in the swing trading I think what else do you want <coughs> if by September it goes to 1550 that means you are making a clean sweep of roughly 40% Friends, it is really worth it and uh, uh, it, uh, stock has a future, future in the sense means IT has a future. <coughs> if the international market opens up, there is, I, I, there is no doubt that the stock actually will go 1500 plus, 1550 plus. So I have the stock with me and I will request you to please follow it up with your before buying You just check with your broker also. but. The technical and fundamental parameters suggest that we should take the stock. Friends, I would like to here find out with you uh, in last one year what is the trend this is or, or what is the price actually it has shown. See, what this is one year chart which I have taken exactly one year. See, you can see here one year daily chart, right? This is one year daily chart. Okay, in one year daily chart it has given 100%. See, <coughs> on uh, uh, 28 6 2022 the rate was below 500 and today it has closed at 1095 so this is one stock which in one year's time has given a trader a swing trader clear 100 percent there is nothing wrong with the stock should you buy it should you not buy it form your own own opinion friends i must tell you that I have the stock with me rather I have been dealing in the stock uh, for quite a long time uh, and I am very happy about it I have made a lot of money now you check with your broker and if you find that you can take it well you can buy the stock even at this price because why I am saying you can buy at this price is my conviction friends here is strategically you see what happens is when you make a strategy you avoid speculation I am not speculating anything I am just seeing here that the, this price line, blue price line on the weekly chart has gone up. So it has given me safety. If it crosses back like here, I will quit whenever it does it. If it does not do, maybe for another two months time, three months time, let the stock go up. What is the problem? So we have confirmed with the daily charts. We have reconfirmed with the weekly chart, which is a very strong and says uptrend is maintained. Now, friends, it is up to you. If you want to ride the momentum, buy the stock, carry on till the momentum ends and that is where the money is. Friends, thank you very much and uh, have a nice day.